Hello beauties and welcome back to Jessie Things Up with Jessica Yick. If you are new here, welcome to the channel and if you would like to keep seeing more videos on product reviews, unboxings, etc. Please make sure you do hit that subscribe button as well as have those bell notifications on. So what are we doing today? We are doing something that I'm actually really, really, really excited about because I have been looking for this specific ingredient from Avon Canada in a long, 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 long time so for a very long time. They came up with the essential oil, but it was not appropriate for topical skin use. So in collaboration with the face shop, we now carry the tea tree ampule. Well, the tea tree pore ampule. So this is supposed to be a lightweight watery ampule that is formulated with tea tree oil, but also three of the different types of exfoliating acids, which is their triple acid complex. The triple acid complex includes a silicone acid, alpha hydroxy acid, and polyhydroxy acid. It also has hyaluronic acid, which is an ingredient that helps your skin to hold moisture. And then of course the tea tree, which helps to clarify uh, your skin and also helps to prevent future breakouts. We've heard of the great benefits of tea tree oil. So, and I remember from my teen years that tea tree oil is always great for pimples and acne breakouts. So I wanted to get this. Not for my face though, because surprisingly my face has been actually been pretty clear. I haven't had any major breakouts over the last while, knock on wood. Oh my goodness, hopefully it stays that way. However, I am still getting breakouts through my scalp and on my body. So that is what this is for. First off, let's talk a little bit about the products that Avon Canada is carrying from this line. So in addition to the Ampule, we're also carrying the toner pads as well as a pore cream. However, I only wanted to try the Ampule. It's easy easy to use and I didn't want to use a cream on different parts of my body, especially not my hairline. I just figured that this would be most easily absorbed you know, right into my scalp where, where I'm having most of my breakout issues. So let's talk a little bit more about this Clean Beauty line, which is formulated to soothe, hydrate, smooth your skin while balancing out your sebum levels. The entire line itself, so I can't say that it speaks only for this product. So obviously, if you have very specific skincare concerns, using all of the complementary products would probably you get your best bang for your buck, you get the most results out of it. But because I only want to do my scalp, I'm only testing this one particular product. So the entire collection is supposed to help you visibly reduce the appearance of pores, offers gentle exfoliation and is suitable for daily use. It is dermatology tested and is free from 18 additives, which I am going to post up here. And this is also a vegan GMO free and EcoCert certified product. It is made in Korea and is total of 30 milliliters. It is suitable for sensitive skin and obviously it's also suitable for acne prone skin because that's the whole product line. <laughs> I'm going to do a swatch on my hand and then I'm going to show different areas that has a little bit of the acne issues, but I'm excited to try this out. For according to what I see in the website, I really do like the packaging of this. It's just something about it is very calm and serene feeling, very zen. Not when it goes shooting out of my box. Okay, I like the texture of this. It has almost like a sateen feel to it and it is a little bit tinier than I thought, but hey, tiny, compact, good things come in little packages like me. Favorite song that I sang in elementary school for the holiday concerts. Good things come in little packages. Check it out. It is hilariously awesome because I got to say like me. Always the shortest one in class. How does this work? So it has a, oh, it has a cap. Oh, I've never seen this kind of cap before. That's pretty interesting. Look at that. So this cap here, cause I was like, I don't know how I'm going to squirt this out, but here is the cap. It comes off like so. Now, to be honest, even though I much as I love this and how cool it looks, I don't know if I would ever truly put it back on. I should, but it's just one of those things. Well, I guess it'll be really good, especially when I need to travel. So here I have a bare hand. Let's do a quick texture and sniff test. There it is. Okay, so it took a little couple of pumps to come out. So it feels quite cool now. It's just gonna be that it's been like out of the sun in packaging and things. And it's very light. I don't smell much at all. Now I'm not using it on my face today because I just finished testing out the Dr. Belmer Total Youth Multi-Purpose Balm, but it's quite watery. It has a little bit of slickness to it, but I don't smell much. Cause I know what tea tree oil smells like and I was expecting a little bit more of that. So if you're fragrance sensitive, this is going to be great for you because I smell nothing. On the website, it does say it has like an herbal, light herbal scent to it. 
I don't think I smell that unless I'm having like issues. I don't have coffee right now. Yeah, I don't smell much. Like maybe ever so slight. So let's see how quickly it absorbs into the skin. Not sticky, feels good. So now let's go over to natural light where I'm going to show you my beautiful acne. All right, here we are in front of the window. It is surprisingly moisturizing. Like much more moisturizing than I thought it was going to be, so impressive. I mean, I have a little bit of redness, but I don't know if, I don't think that's actually acne. I do have some breakouts going on. They're not too, too bad right now. But my plan is to, like where I usually get most of my breakouts right around the hairline is where I'm going to try this out. And then the other thing is, <laughs> be warned, close encounter with underarms. Again, like the exfoliator. So I've been getting some underarm breakouts. Now it's not from the exfoliator, not the exfoliator, the epilator, because I haven't been able to actually have time to use it. So it's just, I don't know. I think it's from like dance and I'm hot and sweaty. So I've been getting a little bit of breakout. So I'm actually going to try it there <laughs> to see because, hey, why not? I know we have a new Skin So Soft line, but I figured every little bit helps. And they say ampules are light and watery. So it like goes into your skin really quickly. So I'm just going to try this out. Let's see if it stings or anything. Nope, not stinging. And you know, like I've tried tea tree oil shampoos before. Yeah, it doesn't sting at all. Oh, I missed a hair. Okay. Yeah, like this one is pretty angry feeling right now. Like I want to pop it. And I mean, if I end up having some breakouts, I will definitely try it out on my face. But as of right now, I'm just going to apply it where I need it. And what I like about it, why I wanted to try this, is because it's not like a cream where it, it will feel heavy, especially in my in my hairline, but also the fact that I've gotten some prescription acne products from my doctor, but it could cause like bleaching and like photosensitivity. So I'm trying not to use it as much as possible. And the other thing is, I think this won't really weigh down my hair too much. I think today that this video, it's more about just the first impressions of this. It's gonna take a while in order to see, you know, how well it works for my underarms and things like that. So I don't know if I'm gonna do a two week update, but I am going to possibly do an update on my beauty group on Facebook. So if you haven't joined that yet, make sure you do join that. The link is always in the description box uh, where you can find me on Facebook. Overall, I'm happy with how quickly it absorbs. I like the fact that it's very extremely lightly scented. It is cute and compact, so it's good for on the go. You know, I could take this while I'm traveling and it will be my first line of defense for pimples. To see the results, I'm going to have to wait a bit. It feels good. I mean, it, it's not sticky. It's not tacky. It feels a little bit slippy. So I do feel like I say it, it does feel surprisingly moisturizing. So I think on the, your face too, this would feel absolutely lovely. So if you've tried this out, let me know what your thoughts have been. And I will do maybe a community post or something on an update on how it goes throughout this next little while, because I don't quite know how long it'll take before the results show. Cause I've never used it like this before on my body. <laughs> skin's thicker down there with that said guys thank you so much for joining in today if you have any questions please do leave a comment and if you enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up helps out this channel a lot and until next time guys stay well stay safe and stay fantastic Hi, i love you